the particle and the wave picture of uh, electrons, right? So let's see. You, if you compare to particle like features and the wave like picture, the, uh, let's say. First, if you talk about the characteristic, characteristic, well, obviously, if you go for the particle-like picture, the position in space is the characteristic of the particles, position. In a wave-like picture, it should be extended extended in space. Okay. And the correlation of this uh, particle and wave picture in the space is the indeterminacy principle. Okay. H bar, uh, oh, sorry. Delta X and the delta P uh, product, the indeterminacy principle that makes a correlation of the uh, uh, position characteristic and the extension in space characteristic. Now, what about the momentum? Momentum in the particle picture, we you know that it's mv. In the wave picture, it's h bar k. Okay? And the energy, The kinetic energy as uh, mv square, and then potential energies, something like that. So, let's just think about the uh, kinetic energies. Okay, kinetic energy only. And in the wave picture, the energy is going to be uh, Planck constant and then the angular frequency, so omega. And what the uh, uh, status, energy status, the uh, rather we should say the forbidden energies, forbidden energies. In a particle picture, no, there is no forbidden energies. It should be continuous. But uh, in a wave picture, we can see that uh, we do have a forbidden energies only when the system is confined. And the uh, confinement, we are going to talk about the confinement of the system later. Uh, uh, but uh, in a wave picture, only wave picture can tell us that there should be a forbidden energy if the system is confined. In a particle picture, even if it is confined, the system is confined, we cannot have the forbidden energies. It should be continuous. That's the uh, particle picture. And in reality, okay, we do see the, a set of Discrete energies, discrete energies in a solid. So, even though we cannot clearly say the electron is a particle or the wave, you can have uh, 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 both sides, dualities in nature. Uh, but we want to go for the wave system because only the wave-like picture we can understand, okay? A set of discrete energies which really there in the solid. So that's why we want to go for the wave picture instead of a particle picture. So naturally, the next chapter 
is a kind of inner, inner introduction of wave system. And, uh, well, let me just to give you just the things that we need, uh, we have to use in this uh, uh, class, okay? The velocity of the wave is the wavelength and the frequencies, okay? And, um... The velocity is uh, the frequency. Well, what should I say? The uh, the velocity is the uh, omega divided by the k. That is uh, later we're going to talk about this. The dispersion. dispersion of the wave, okay? The relationship between omega versus k is going to be the dispersion relationship. Anyway, the velocity of the wave is going to be omega versus uh, omega uh, over k, okay? And if you have uh, two systems, the wave is uh, propagates along two different materials, okay, then uh, the energy conservation, energy conservation says the new, the frequency cannot be changed. Okay, the energy of this uh, of the uh, wave is going to be h nu, okay, and h is the constant Planck constant, and a nu is the frequency. So energy conservation says if even if the wave propagates into different materials. The new cannot be changed because the energy has to be conserved. Then what is going to be changed is that the velocity is going to be changed and the uh, lambda is going to be changed. So if you have a different materials, the omega versus k relations in the vacuum, let's say this is the uh, uh, omega versus k relationship in a vacuum, then in any substances, rather than the vacuum should be lower, different slope, okay, in a material. It should show something like this, okay. The velocity is going to be changed to uh, conserve the energy of the system. And uh, dispersive, dispersion, dispersive, and non-dispersive, dispersive system can be uh, defined as the velocity omega versus k. If it is a constant, then we call that uh, non-dispersive system. If it is not a constant, then it's a dispersive system, which means the velocity is going to be changed inside of materials, some damping, whatever, okay? And there is a thing that uh, should be distinguished is the groove velocity, Vg, and the phase velocity, Vp. This is the difference. The groove velocity is 
round omega over round k. But the phase velocity is just uh, omega divided by the k. So if you have a non-dispersive uh, system, omega versus k, if you have uh, some kind of a, uh, it's not, uh, which is not straight line, you have some kind of a curve in omega versus k, then the phase velocity and groove velocity are different. At this k value, the groove velocity, uh, phase velocity is going to be this slope, but the uh, groove velocity is going to be the slope at this moment. So this is a groove velocity, and this is a phase velocity. Uh, the famous example of this groove velocity and phase velocity is that you, if you have the standing wave with uh, the resonance, uh -huh. then here <coughs> this is a phase velocity, but this <coughs> node to node <coughs> velocity is going to be, excuse me, velocity. <clears throat> then uh, what is the <clears throat> when we say the momentum is P V and this velocity this is the uh, mass times a velocity right velocity now this velocity, is it going to be a groove velocity or the phase velocity of the system? Uh, well, the energy is going to be the momentum divided by the 2m, and then this is going to be h square k square over 2m, right? Because the momentum is h by k. <clears throat> and then uh, that is going to be the energy has to be expressed with the uh, angular frequencies like this, so that the angular frequencies now become h bar k square over 2m. <clears throat> now, the phase velocity is just the omega divided by the k, and groove velocity is round omega over round k. Okay. So if you use this and then make a derivative with respect to the k, then you end up with a 2 h bar k, 2 m h bar k, okay? And then this is going to be the uh, momentum, and then uh, that is going to be the half velocity in PV, okay? But in a groove velocity, when you make a derivative of omega with respect to k, then you end up with 2h bar 2m. Two, uh, <coughs> m, and that is going to be V. So, when you say the momentum in a MV, that V should be corresponding to the groove velocity, not the phase velocity. Okay? Now let's uh, go for a general expression of the wave. Okay? The general expression general expression of the wave. That is uh, n a n round x or n round n psi. The psi is the displacement of the uh, wave. And then that should be related with 
related to the derivative of the displacement with respect to the time. So this partial differential equation, partial differential equation, anything which can be expressed with this partial differential equation, we can call that is a wave system. Okay, that is a psi displacement of the particle with respect to the x and the time. Of course, you can extend this idea to the x and y and z in three-dimensional space. Okay, so uh, anything which can be uh, expressed with this partial differential equation consisting of the uh, derivative with respect to the space and the time, okay? And we call that is a wave system. And the general solution of this wave system is going to be psi is equal to a exponential i kx minus omega t plus b exponential minus i kx minus omega t. That is a general solution of this wave equation. Okay, and uh, according to, w with the uh, boundary conditions, of course, you can uh, specify the value of A and B, things like that, okay? And uh, this is the uh, solution, uh, this is the wave to propagate to the positive directions, and this is the uh, wave for the negative direction. So that is the general expression. Uh, we are going to deal with the harmonic waves only, harmonic waves. In the lighter systems, uh, we cannot talk about this harmonic uh, uh, non-dispersive system. But in this class, we are going to talk about the harmonic wave. Harmonic wave means psi is going to be a cosine omega t minus 2 pi over lambda x, which is a cosine omega t minus kx. That is the uh, uh, general solution of this harmony wave. Or we can have the uh, sign, we can use the uh, sign for this uh, solution, it, just the exact manner, well, t minus kx, things like that, okay? And then if we have these solutions, and this is the uh, answer for the harmonic waves, uh, to prove it, it's uh, not so uh, difficult to make a proof. If the solution can be in that form, then at t equal to zero, when uh, time in the initial wave of form is going to be psi zero is going to be a cosine minus kx. You insert that the t is equal to zero here. And then you end up with a cosine kx. Right? Now, we have to see if t is not equal to zero, then uh, how this uh, psi 
the displacement of the system. In other words, the, if you plot the psi at a certain specific time, if, let's say, the system shows the displacement something like this, okay? So that is just on this waveform. That is the uh, psi uh, a cosine kx, right? Now, what happens if uh, time is go going to, we set that time is not zero, so we have a certain uh, time passed to this system, then uh, what's going to change to the psi naught, the wave system? Now, if you set A now cosine then omega t because the uh, t is not equal to zero you have to set the uh, omega t here and then k and x plus omega over k t okay this uh, omega over k is correspond to the velocity of the wave, and velocity times the, the time is going to be the x, okay? The extra x. So if you insert that instead of x here, then obviously you can see that this is going to be cosine kx, just like uh, Time, uh, time equal to zero, which means this uh, waveform is not going to be changed after the uh, uh, passing of the time. It stays there like that, and then we call that the system is a harmonic wave. If the wave is different, something like, you know, like this or diminish something like that, then this is not a harmony wave anymore. So this is just a proof. Any wave system which can be answered to this, uh, to this form, cosine and sine, then we call that as a harmony wave. And we are going to deal with the harmony wave only in this class. All right, the kinds of wave. There is a traveling wave and the standing wave. And uh, traveling wave is just uh, both ends or one end of the string is uh, fixed and the other end is free. That is a traveling wave, okay? And the standing wave, both end is fixed so that in the system, this end should not be moved. There's a psi at x equal to zero, and uh, let's say this is a uh, physical distance is L. L, the displacement of the system should be zero at both ends. Then we, uh, we can 